Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am going to show you the overview for MIUI 6 ROM for Nexus 5. Now this is not an official ROM, it is a ported ROM. So let's check it out. Now firstly I am going to show you how to install this ROM. You have to go to this page, I will post the link for this page in my description. The page name is Port Fully Working MIUI 6 5.3.13. Here you have downloaded two files that is the main ROM file and the fixed browser video zip file. It will fix the video playback in your browser. Just wipe your data and cache and flash both the zip file and reboot your system. The ROM will be installed. Now the known issue for the ROM is when you open the ISO setting in a camera menu, the camera will crash. Also some people are experiencing GPS problem. So here is the method to fix the GPS. So let's check out the ROM now. So let's check out the phone info first. Now this ROM is based on Android version 4.4.4 that is KitKat. Also the ROM is based on the latest version of MIUI that is MIUI 5.3.13 beta. And this ROM has also included the elementary X kernel. So the battery life of this ROM should be pretty good. Now all the apps in this MIUI ROM are ported very well. Means all the MIUI apps are ported very well. There is no any graphical glitch or any language problem in this app. So let's check out the home screen first. As this is a MIUI there is no app drawer. So all the install app can be seen on the next page. And the pages will go on adding as you install the app. You can also form a folder of apps like this. Now if you pinch on home screen, it will give you the customization option. Means there is an option to move app, then you can add widgets to your home screen. There are lots of widgets available here. Just hold any widget and drag it to a required position on home screen. Then there is an option to change the wallpaper. And also you can customize the scrolling effect. So there are lots of options available. I have enabled the cube option. So you can observe when I scroll, it will give me the cube effect. Now we will check out every MIUI app one by one. So let's check out the phone app first. And this is the dialer UI. And this is the in call UI. Then this is the contacts app. It's a very neat and clean app. Then there is a stock browser app. Then there is a messaging app of MIUI. Now let's check out the MIUI camera app. It's a very simple and very good it's a very good it's a very simple and good camera app. So let's bring any object in focus. Just tap where you want to focus and move your finger around the focus point, it will adjust the exposure. So it's a very good feature. Then you can enable or disable the HR mode from here, then you can change the flash mode, then you can enable the video mode from here. And for toggling between the front camera and back camera, just swipe up or down, it will toggle the front camera and back camera. So it's a very good camera app. Now, now let's check out the gallery app. So this is the MIUI gallery. You can see the photos from MI Cloud or offline photos from here. It's a very neat and clean looking gallery app. The next app is a music app. It's a MIUI music app. It's a very good looking music app.
it will show the lyrics and album info on right hand side then there is a folder called tools here there is a mi account app then in the then there is a mail app of miui then there is a updater app it will not work with this rom okay, then there is a miui clock app as you can see the clock looks pretty elegant then there is a sound recorder app you can record your voice from here then there is a fm radio app but as the next effort does not support fm radio it will not work then there is a calculator app then there is a miui file explorer as you can see the files are categorized by their formats means music video images docs archives and apks app so it's a good file explorer app then next is compass there is a miui compass app it will show you the directions then there is a scanner app it will scan the barcode or qr code for the product information then there is a downloads app and a same toolkit app now the miui also provide the security app in the security app they have provide the cleaner data usage monitor block list battery monitor virus scan and permissions so it's a good app you can manage your phone from here the next app is calendar it's very good and simple looking calendar then there is a notes app to take out the notes then there is a miui weather app so as you observe there are no graphical features in the app so it's a perfectly ported rom now if you go into setting there are lots of option available for customization now let's check out the notification drawer so as you can see this is the notification drawer here are the quick action toggles you can add up to 6 toggles in this here you will see the notifications and when you swipe to right it will show you the quick toggles you can customize these toggles in the settings and you can directly go to settings by tapping here the best feature of miui is the themes you can customize your miui by lots of theme there is a special app for themes you can download tons of theme from a theme store most of them are free so let's apply any theme i have downloaded the sunset theme so let's apply it so as you can see it's a very simple and easy process everything is changed that is fonts icons background if you want to change only font there is a option for changing font just go into settings go into addition setting and there is a option called font here you can choose the font there are lots of font available for download so you can apply any font you have downloaded just click on the font and apply so now the font is applied So as you can see it is a very well ported rom 
so there are there are no glitches and no big issue with this rom everything is working fine so i will suggest you to check out this rom if you want to have a test of miui then go for this rom only one con i found on this rom is you have to revert back to android kitkat so if you like this video please hit the like button below and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video you can follow me on google plus facebook and my blog thank you for watching my video i will see you in my next video